This story is called The Old Haunted Church, shared by Jason for Voorhees 2. We live just a few blocks from an ugly and very dirty old church. Behind the church is nothing but endless woods and a few old tombstones. People who have lived here for many years have been telling a chilling story about that old church. Several decades ago, a group of young girls were walking down a lonely street one Halloween night when they came upon a man in a clown costume. The man led the girls into that old church with the promise of having yummy candy waiting for them inside. After tricking them and trapping them inside, he tied up the girls and mutilated them. After a while, he killed them one by one, with each yelling out in a deadly pinch. On the wall, he wrote, with the girl's blood. Dead girls don't say no. The next day was a Sunday and the priest walked in to discover the horrible sight of what had happened the night before. After searching for a mysterious dripping sound in the darkness, he found a pool of blood that a stray cat was licking at. The dripping came from a bloody stumps of several headless and nude mutilated young girls whose bodies were hung upside down from the wooden rafters above. Till this day, no one knows who did it and no suspects had ever been found. Just a few weeks later, after the girls' remains had been buried, a package was delivered to each of the murdered girls' homes. And when their parents went to open the boxes, their screams could not withstand their ghastly horror. In each of the boxes, there contained one of the girls' badly decomposed severed head. It is said that the four little girls were buried in a small cemetery in the woods behind the church. And some say that at night, if you go into the church or venture into the woods to that small cemetery, you may see the ghosts of the little girls walking about. Others say you can still hear their screams echoing in the darkness.